The day is May 28th, 1993. The day that the semi-infamous live-action Super Mario Brothers movie released. This was the first ever video game to movie adaptation of all time. And the reason you haven't seen more afterwards was because it bombed at the box office. With a budget of 42 to 48 million dollars, the movie, which had such a big name in its title, surprisingly only sold around 38.9 million dollars. While there would be further attempts to release a video game film, like with Mortal Kombat and Tomb Raider, they would meet the same fate. This would completely deter big film corporations from trying anymore. That's why, in the past 20 to 30 years since the movie, there's been some occasional video game adaptations until recently. The year is now 2019. Two films just got greenlit that were video game adaptations. Ones that caught people's eyes. Sonic and Detective Pikachu. Surprisingly, the release of Detective Pikachu went well. Not only did people like the film, it sold $450 million with a budget of $150 million. But the early reception for the Sonic movie could not be any more different. The first trailer released, and many people already had their criticisms. They felt that the story was not going to be good, and that this was going to be some sort of cash grab, like the Mario movie, and the Mortal Kombat movie, and pretty much every video game movie beyond that point. But there was one thing that really tipped people off the edge, and that was how Sonic looked. People criticized the look of Sonic so much that the film company who made this issued an apology, delayed the film, recreated the original character, and it was so catastrophic that pretty much everybody theorized that it was a publicity stunt from the very beginning. Then came time for its release. Surprisingly, people liked the film. It sold $319 million with an $85 million budget. And the question was now put into film directors' minds. Should we make more video game film adaptations? But before they could think too hard, it became 2020. Film companies were faced with a problem. Oversaturation. With the shutdowns and everybody being at home, film companies decided to promote their streaming services more and release more movies so that people could enjoy film while they were still at home. But here's the problem. With a big catalog of every film that pretty much any company has ever released, there really is no longer a need to keep updated or to constantly be going to a theater or to really give them any money at all beyond just the streaming service. And I think you saw this most with Disney Marvel movies. Obviously there were some that did pretty well, mainly just Spider-Man, but any other Marvel movie that released that was some sort of twist on a new topic did poorly and instead of improving it or changing something they just decided you know what let's greenlight morbius so with their back against the wall corporate film decided to do what they do best be creative during that time they decided to greenlit a lot of video game movies namely the sonic movie 2 the mario movie that happened very recently soon the the FNAF movie, the Last of Us series that a lot of people were talking about, and in the future, Minecraft. And unlike the past, this time, their shot went in. Super Mario Bros. movie had a budget of $100 million, brought in $1.3 billion, and is the 15th highest selling movie of all time. Sonic 2 had a budget of $90 to $110 million, and brought in $405 million. The Last of Us TV series bringing 30 million viewers across all platforms for the first five episodes and being very critically acclaimed. The FNAF movie, which already broke even due to merch sales before the movie even released. And the Minecraft movie, that apparently has Jason Momoa already starring in it and is releasing April 4th, 2025. Corporate film was dancing. With all the money in their pockets, they were happy. They knew that they just found their next strike of gold, and it's easy to see why. With film adaptations, you're re-releasing the same thing just to new people. And on top of already knowing the market share, you don't have to create a new advertising strategy because, well, you can just advertise using the name. And the icing on the cake for the entire recipe, it's the fact that video games are usually one-off franchises. 
there isn't a Minecraft 2. So if the Minecraft film does very well, people will be able to enjoy it and share it because it's just going to be one film. Thank you guys for watching all the way. If you didn't know, YouTube introduced a new update for the two little special buttons below this video. Their names, the like button, and the subscribe button. When I said those words, both buttons should have flashed. So if you want to see another animation, click both. Not only will you see that animation, but you'll help support the channel and it's greatly appreciated. Thank you, I hope you have a great rest of your day, and goodbye.